The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clear the average and that way it's got a fresh start. Uh, we're going to leave the log where it's at so we can keep a record of this and we're going to hit start. You notice that the average is at zero. We're still sitting on 100 seconds. <clears throat> we go back here and look at our meter and this time we're on a brown potato. Here's the rest of the potato, freshly cut. Just an old brown Idaho potato. Our meter is still set on X1. You can see it's just hardly moving. Let's go back over and watch our progress. Well, you can see this is getting boring real quick. We're still at 60. Uh, a lot of the time you got zero counts. Sometimes you'll have three or four, but again, the radiation is random. It comes in from outer space or from uh, you know, terrestrial surfaces and comes zipping across here. You see, sometimes you'll have five, and a lot of times you'll have zero. There's two. This is getting pretty boring. We're going to go ahead and let it run. Okay, we're finished out at count 100. You can still see we're at average of 60 counts per minute. Same as background on our brown potato. Alright, we're back and this time we have a red potato. Now let's go back and let's zero out this, the average. So we start fresh. Let's start the graph again. And watch the numbers change. Oh, isn't this exciting? Well, there you go. You're still running at 60. The meter shows about the same. You're still on X1. These other little scales, the fast and slow, all that does is dampen the meter. We've got it on slow, so it dampens the meter so it doesn't jerk around as much whenever a, an impulse comes in. The scale is on X1. You can put it on X2 and you cut the scale in half and for accuracy if, you, if the meter is jumping around wildly. In this case we're not relying upon the meter, we're letting the computer do all the counting. <coughs> the reset is just a way to uh, to take the uh, whatever's on the, the needle. <coughs> Our potatoes are falling over. Yeah, I'll prop it up with the bananas. There we go. And we're back here at still at 60 counts per minute. We're going to pause for a second. Okay, we're done counting on the red potatoes and we're still at 60 counts per minute, which is background, which means that red potatoes have no measurable radiation. Now let's pull this off get rid of the potatoes and let's test some bananas. We were told on uh, YouTube that bananas were radioactive. Okay, there's a pile of bananas for you. We're going to go over here and we're going we're gonna to clear the average. So we're starting at zero again. <coughs> and we're going to press start. <coughs> hey, there's a little bit of action right there. Let's see what happens though in the long term. So there is a tiny amount of radiation in bananas. Then again, that could have just been some of the solar radiation coming through. If it, uh, what matters is this 100 second average. We're still at 100 seconds. The threshold detection and the sensitivity are there. You're told to set them at a certain range at the factory and we've never changed them. I have no idea what happens if you do change them. So we don't mess with them. And look, we're back down to 60. What has happened is that there was a little burst of solar radiation that came in and it just happened to be in at the start of the at the start of the count. We're keeping the same counting. We're still going 100 seconds on everything. We're still counting once per second, so this is perfectly scientific. It's all been done identical. <coughs> I guess we're going to have potatoes tonight. I don't know. There's our bananas. You can see the meter's not going anywhere. Still set on X1. 
Again, we're not using the meter, we're using the, the computer to do the counting. Here we are at around, looks like we're around 84 or so. And we're still at 60 counts per minute. So there's no radiation in bananas either. A friend of mine said that he burned 100 pounds of bananas and took the ash, and he was able to get a little bit of a little bit of measurable radioactivity out of 100 pounds of bananas once they were burned. As 100 pounds of bananas before they were burned, he could not get any radiation out of them. But once he concentrated by burning it, he saw a little bit. Now there's your total. 60 counts per minute, 1.1 milliram, which is background radiation. There are no bananas radioactive around here. And there's no radioactive potatoes that we know of. Why are you being told that these things are radioactive? Well, it's the granite people. They basically want to continue to sell these hot, hot granite materials, whether it harms someone or not. So they tell you that, oh, everything's radioactive. We're going to pause for a second, look at some granite.